there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of August the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out, see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Swords reversed, and next we have the King of Swords upright, followed then by the Eight of Cups reversed, and lastly, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Taurus, for your overall energy, you have that of the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is your own energy. This is Earth energy, that of Taurus. Maybe some of you are dealing with another Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. It could be that you have someone like that in your midst and... They are in the upright. The, if it's not representing them, it could very well be your own energy. Uh, Taurus, uh, the Queen of Pentacles is um, at the top of her game. She knows exactly what she's doing when it comes to finances, when it comes to work, when it comes to anything that the Pentacles govern, which is anything tangible, our security, finances, and those things. So um, it could be that some of you are really feeling in your element this week. You're really feeling that earth energy and you're going with it and you're feeling very strong and, and very secure and stable. Uh, she also knows how to deal with finances very well. If this is um, a boss or a person in authority, it could be that this person is maybe helping you or assisting you in, uh, in some way concerning work or home or anything tangible. Coming right into the week, we have the um, Ace of Swords in the reverse position. Ace of Swords upright, this is the sword known as the Sword of Victory. This is sort of communication, new beginnings and communication, um, all that good stuff. When it's in the reverse position and it's coming right off of the, the weekend, so it could be that for some of you, maybe there's some information that is not has not been forthcoming towards you maybe there's a cutoff in communication with someone or with some people that um it could be misunderstandings due to the mercury retrograde although it's now moving forward there's still a shadow period so there could still be a hold up uh delay in communication and this could just also too represent lack of clarity in some aspect or some area of your life but it's paired up with the king of swords in the upright position so um, for some of you, you could be get, getting that clarity actually from the King of Swords. So this is air energy, that of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. It could be for some of you that the uh, King of Swords, when he's in the upright position, this person is you know, at the top of his game in terms of communication and clarity and so forth. The King of Swords is um, all about the truth, nothing but the truth. He's a logical thinker. It could be that you're dealing with this person or this person could be coming forward uh, towards you to clear up a situation that maybe you, you had no clarity or con you were confused about. Uh, for others of you, this can represent uh, a person, if it's not uh, an air sign, it could be representing a person of the law. If any of you are dealing with a legal situation, this could represent a uh, police officer, a lawyer, or a judge. But he's in the upright, so this person could be coming around, say, uh, if you had a legal issue that was not cleared up, maybe this person around the middle of the week will be coming around to help clear up the matter for you. He's in the upright, so it looks like he's working on your behalf. Uh, moving towards the weekend of the 25th, 26th, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position. The Eight of Cups upright, this is uh, all about moving on forward, you know, looking for that ninth cup, for that, that wish card um, in the upright, because we already have a lot of emotional fulfillment, but there's something that's missing and we need to move forward in order to find it. It could be a hobby, it could be a relationship, it could be a lot of different things. When it's reversed like this, this can sometimes represent going back to the past to try to find something. Maybe there was something or someone that was emotionally fulfilling to you in the past and you're kind of taking a step back to the uh, Seven of Cups energy where there was other options and opportunities there. Very interesting reading so far. 
And the last card you have uh, to conclude the reading for the weekend of the 26th is the um, Ace of Wands in the upright position. This is all about new beginnings, a new spark, something. It looks like whatever it is you're trying to find, Taurus, you do find it by week's end. This is uh, something that really sparks your energy. The Ace of Wands is all about new ideas, uh, brand new beginnings in terms of anything from travel to adventure to... Um, uh, a new business idea to just something that really really sparks and definitely a relationship as well because sometimes the ace of wands can represent that first spark of passion where we're moving towards someone new in a relationship that we're attracted to so there's that going on either way you slice it this ends on a really positive note uh, whatever it is you're looking for, it looks like you just may find it at the end of the week. Okay, Taurus? I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.